Hi, my name is Tom Halbert. I am Vice President of Sales at Way Interglobal. I am here today with... Hi, I'm Chris Greer. I'm Vice President of Product Development at Way Interglobal. We're here today to talk about our 17-inch griddle and compare it to our closest competitor. One thing that immediately stands out is the location of the grease tray. You can see the gray stone grease tray is located in the front right for easy accessibility. Especially when it's in the RV, Tom. This is our Greystone 17-inch cast iron griddle. In an outside kitchen. In an actual true application. You can see the advantages of having your grease tray in the front. Yeah, versus trying to grab something on the back. That's uh, No, because you're reaching across a hot cast iron skillet. And this last thing you want to do is get your hand or arm closer to the heat source. Now, if we walk back over here, we can see their competitor. There's located in the back. Another thing, Chris, I noticed um, when I tried to pick this up before. It, oh, well, look at that. that. It's not even attached. Is ours? Yeah, our the gray. No, it's, it might be hot. Let me grab it. Yeah, the gray stone is the gray stone is held in place with thumb screws. Oh, look there at that. You go. That way so, you don't have to worry about it grease splattering. It's all one solid unit. Yep. The other thing I noticed, Chris, this, if I'm not mistaken, this does not look like cast iron. That's a 10 gauge sheet of steel really? that's welded. And where the gray stone is an actual true cast iron piece that's going to hold the heat much more appropriately than a, just a piece this of steel. Is, this is like kind of cooking on a just a mat piece of sheet metal yeah right okay yeah. um i'd much prefer the the cast iron yeah. griddle because the the flavor especially once they use that cast iron several times once you get it seasoned yeah, yeah and if you haven't seen my seasoning videos before you can go to youtube and just google my name you'll see them um one thing i'm yes, on the ahead, competitor that's a only a twelve thousand btu Burner and, and we actually went to a 15,000. Yeah, ours is 15,000. Yeah. I'm not good at math, but I think it's like 3,000. Yeah, difference. I do like the stainless steel. We want the stainless steel front a little bit more style. You see a lot of appliances, even in the residential application, with the stainless steel look. When we were cooking on the two, doing the comparison, oh, yeah, uh, the, the edges on that version, the competitor version, just don't get really as hot as our cast iron gray stone piece. Well, yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with the cast iron compared to the Absolutely. sheet metal or yeah. whatever this is. But you can see the outline of their heating element. It's an H, and it's really just in the center where you got ours. You can see ours looks like a horseshoe. Yeah, a little bit more spread out, closer spread to, the out edges. to the edges. Because it's important, that, although they are both 17 inch uh, cast iron griddle, we actually have more surface area that you can cook on because you're not going to put a piece of bacon on the outside edges and then it's just not going to cook. It doesn't get hot enough. They also have some hang, some of their cooking surfaces hanging over the back, which doesn't really work very well in an RV application. Um, and that section obviously doesn't cook anything back there. So The other thing I noticed too is, I don't know if I'd, you got this, pulling this thing out I mean, that, that's, you can see what I'm doing it, I'm breaking. So you put hot grease in that. I prefer ours, Chris Greer. Can you please show the people? Tray that you saw on. The tray. Then you can clean it out easily. Oh, look what, if this is full of hot grease. Well, boy. They, I know they'll sell you some more of those. Oh yeah, these want. are very expensive. This one, this one's just uh, reusable. It's green. Yep. So as we uh, test the, of course the centers are both hot on, on both the griddles, which I would expect if somebody's going to build a griddle, it should, yeah, it should, should make it so it cooks well. But one of the things that we, we check a lot are around the edges, all the edges of the cooking surface. Um, and it, it really looks like they're, they're just not, they're just simply not getting enough heat dissipation out to the edges of the cooking surface so it really limits the amount of food that you can cook then really right Chris yeah absolutely there looks like they're about 60 or 70 degrees 
of temperature differential between the center cooking portion and the outside edges. That's a lot. So again, if you're trying to cook bacon or sausage or something around the outside edge, that's not gonna cook and you only have a small cooking surface there in the center. Well, thank you for watching our video here in our comparison with the 17 inch Greystone and the 17 inch competitor. I hope we were able to point out a few of the feature and benefits that we offer that the competitor does not. For one, this is pure cast iron. This is not. We've got our grease tray in the front corner as opposed to the back. Um, heating elements spread more throughout the cast iron griddle. This one's more centered. Um, ours, ours is really built for, for the RV lifestyle being used in an RV, obviously by some of the features. But then, as you can see, can also be used uh, freestanding. You can see this product and more of our other products on wayinterglobal.com.